to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vivian. I do all kinds of videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, hauls, vlogs, all sorts of fun things. So if you're into anything that's lifestyle, fashion, and beauty, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on my future videos. Yeah, I've got the bully, bully bullies in here with me today. So if you hear any pitter patter, it is them and they are messing around. So we'll see how this goes. But today is my trunk club try on and review. So I'll be trying everything on right here next to me. Of course, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of each item or if it's something that you might think of ordering. I'm going to have all the links down below as well if I can find the item or something similar. And sometimes I can find something similar and cheaper. So make sure to check out the description box below as well. Also, if you're new to trunk club, I'll have my referral link. Thank you to a couple of you who have signed up in the last few months. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions for me about Trunk Club before you sign up, again, leave me a comment below and I will try to get to every one. Okay, so let's get started. Um, my trunk had 10 items this month and a pair of shoes are included in that and a pair of boots. So let's look at those two things first. These Sam Edelman loafers. And these are the Lior loafer by Sam Edelman in black. They've got a gold little... Um, what do you call this? They have some a little bit of a gold accessory right here. And these are in black and these are $120. So these are it right here. Um, at the end of the video, I always let you guys know what I decided to keep and what I paid. Um, so I will definitely do that. I doubt I'm going to be keeping these. Um, they are pretty comfortable. The leather is really soft and buttery. I really like it. But I'm looking for, instead of gold at this point, I have a pair of... Um, I think they're Steve Madden mules, um, like with a open back heel that have exactly the same type of thing in gold and a black shoe. So if anything, I'd want silver accessories or just a plain black loafer. So it's pretty comfortable, although I only wore them around the house maybe for about 15 minutes. So I can't say 100% for sure, but they are a very nice shoe if you're looking for just a basic loafer, you know, to wear the office or wear out, or you can pretty much dress these up or dress them down. I think it's a really good option. Next up are these uh, boots from Tiva, which I didn't even know that Tiva made boots. I really thought that they were more of a shoe and sandal company. They are a beautiful suede boot. They have a nice little detail right here. Not too big of a heel. They look a little bit like a cowboy boot. Um, the inside is really nice and kind of cushiony. These are the Foxy Waterproof Boot by Tiva, size 7, color brown. And these are $144.69. So not a bad price for a nice quality boot, um, but I definitely don't need them. I already have a brown pair of boots here, and the brown is a very similar shade to these, so I know I won't be keeping them. They were pretty comfortable. I think Tiva overall is a very comfortable brand. They it kind of bugged me a little bit right here, um, but not horrible. Um, they have a little bit kind of like of a like a fading or more of a brown color here in the toe. Um, I think they're cool. I think they look really nice. Um, they're just on me. They're right under my knee. Let me know what you guys think of these. And if any of you have tried a Tiva boot, let us know down below. Now to the clothes. Um, this is one of the items that I got. This is from Lou and Gray. Um, this is the high side signature soft cowl tunic in olive for $59.50. I think it's probably a little bit higher price than I like 60 bucks for, you know, like a cowl neck, kind of like a turtleneck type. Uh, it does have some nice detail um, with the high opening right here and it doesn't really show a lot of skin so that's nice if especially if you're wearing like a high-waisted jean or something I don't think that's a big deal but you may want to wear it maybe just with like a cami or something underneath super comfortable super soft can't say that enough um, really nice cowl neck again very very comfortable I think you could wear this to work you could wear this out you can dress it up you can dress it down um, I think it has a a lot of wearable options it's nice I love the color of course it's olive and I love olive I think it'd be beautiful with black or jeans or anything, especially now in the fall. It's just a beautiful color. Um, I don't really need it, and I think for 60 bucks it's a little overpriced, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, next up we have some Spanx. Look at me now, Seamless Leggings by Spanx in the color black, and these are $68. Um, they are really, really tight, and they really, really cinch you in. Everything definitely is locked and loaded in these. They just feel a little bit too much like tights for me rather than a legging um i don't know if you guys know what i mean but they are 
super thick and um, really nice good quality and again like I said they're really going to cinch you in um, but with these I would definitely feel more comfortable wearing them with like some sort of a dress or a tunic or definitely something that's going to cover your um, front up to like mid thigh or your back but they've got a little bit of a detail right there kind of like a ribbing you can kind of see right there um, and something that really keeps you locked in for 68 bucks it's not horrible um, Spanx are not cheap. Normally the ones I've seen have been 90 to over a hundred dollars. So to get a pair, uh, for 68 is not bad. Um, these are seamless, uh, shaping waistband and a center seam free. So no more camel toe. <laughs> so if you're looking to get rid of your camel toe, these are a good option. Okay. So staying in the line of black pants, these right here, if you're looking for a pajama pant, <laughs> these are for you. Um, these are by Leith, which I do like Leith brand, but these are the solid pin tuck Ponte crop pants in black for $65. Um, definitely not worth 65 bucks. These honestly feel like pajama pants. Granted, they've got a nice, very wide elastic waist. They've got a little bit of detail right there on the fly. Um, there are no pockets or anything in the back and they do have a little like opening right here. But these are hilarious because I think they're supposed to be cropped on me. They're not. So they just look like I'm wearing flood pants. So not good. They are also a little bit tight. Um, yeah, she did get me a size small. These would be probably better on me in a size medium, a little bit longer and a little bit looser fit because my butt is just looking a little too tight in these. They're too tight. They're too small. They're too short. So, uh, these are a no, just strictly based on the way they fit me. Um, plus the fact that they're kind of like a pajama pant for 65 bucks. I think I could do better. Okay, next up is this beautiful blazer. I absolutely love this. It's got some nice detail right here in the front. Um, very like substantial. I think it's probably like a polyester type material. Um, this is by Halogen. This is the shawl collar blazer in black, and this is $99. I think it's worth the price. Um, it's under a hundred bucks. It's lined. It's beautiful. There's no buttons or anything here. There are pockets here not really much detail on the back, which is fine. So this is very versatile. You could definitely wear this to the office. You could wear this out um, to a meeting, fancy event, whatever. I think this would be awesome. I do have another black blazer and so I don't think I'll be keeping this, but I'm struggling with it a little bit because I think it's really, really nice. Um, I just don't really want to spend a hundred dollars on a blazer right now. I don't wear blazers to the office very often. Once in a blue moon, um, I will, or maybe like on a jean Friday with a blazer. I think that would look really, really cool. Um, some black boots or some black loafers with some jeans. That would be awesome. Um, but I just don't wear it very often. And I only have, you know, a few meetings throughout the year where I might uh, throw it on. So I don't know that it's worth it to me for a hundred dollars, but if you're a blazer girl and you wear blazers to work all the time, this is beautiful, great detail and very versatile. So highly recommend next up. I'm really on the fence about this. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of it and how it looks on me. Um, it's this kind of like waterfall, waterfall open front, um, kind of like a jacket. This is the drape jacket perfect uh, name. Uh, extra small, so they do run a little big, I think, um, by Halogen in the, in the color gray, and it's $129. This to me is not gray. I don't know how it comes off on camera, but this is definitely like a beigey, creamy type color. It is not gray to me. I love this detail back here. Cinches you in without having to put on a belt, um, which I really like. I love the drapey front. There are no buttons or anything. I think it falls again at a good length on me. It's got some nice zipper detail right there. So I'm kind of struggling with this only because again, I don't get this dressed up. I think this would be beautiful with some black pants. Um, a white, you know, maybe collarless shirt or a blouse or and something. And then throw this on. I think it'd be really pretty maybe to go out even for dinner um, now in the fall. It's not going to keep you warm enough. It's not, it's lined, but it's not going to keep you warm enough really for winter. Um, so if you live maybe down south or out west or something like that, and it doesn't get super cold at night, I think this is an awesome option. I don't think I would necessarily wear it to work though, because I like to be more comfortable at the office and I wouldn't keep this on. So whatever I'd have on underneath, I would think 
it would be more like a basic, but I wouldn't want to take this off and then just have like a simple t-shirt or long sleeve t-shirt on. So I don't know that I'll be keeping it, but I really want to. I think it's beautiful. I don't think the price is horrible for this, for, for what it is. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Next up is this beautiful scarf. It totally looks like a Burberry. I think it's really nice quality. Um, this is the reversible houndstooth and grid scarf by BP multicolored and the price is $29. This is what it is right here. Love the fringe at the bottom. Love that it's reversible, but it doesn't really matter. Like you could just wear it with both sides showing. I'm doing that a little bit when I'm trying it on here and I just absolutely love it. It really truly does look kind of like a Burberry knockoff. Um, I have other actual Burberry scarves, but nothing this you know substantial and good quality for winter. Um, my scarves are pretty much kind of like a spring fall kind of scarf. So I am in need of something like this and I think I could wear this with my camel coat, my black coat, a jean jacket, whatever. I think it'd look really, really pretty. You can wear it a bunch of different ways. You can even put it on more like a shawl if you wanted to. And again, it's reversible. And I think the colors are really nice. I also think this comes in like a forest green type shade. So I'll link it down below and you guys can go check it out. But I think those are the two color options. So like a camel and then a forest green. So definitely check it out. Um, but I think it's beautiful and I am definitely leaning towards keeping this and the price is amazing. Next up is this beautiful necklace from Nadri. I know I won't be keeping this because I have a real diamond gold necklace that I do like to wear. And so I would probably wear that um, first before reaching for this. If I didn't have that, I would be keeping this. This is beautiful, it's substantial, it's shiny, it's delicate, it's fancy, yet simple. Um, so I really, really like it. I think the quality from Nadri Jewelry, I love Nadri Jewelry, I think they have great stuff. Um, and the price on this is $48. It's the Halo Pendant Necklace in gold, again, $48. And you can see just how dainty and pretty it is um, right there. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, but like I said, I have a real diamond um, gold necklace. My diamond's a lot smaller than this, obviously. Um, but if I didn't have that, I would be keeping this because I think it definitely serves a purpose. You could wear this with so many different things. It would look beautiful even just with what I'm wearing today. So beautiful with just like an open neck, V-neck type top. I think this is a really, really good option for under 50 bucks. And it's Nadri. You can't go wrong. It's very, very pretty. Last up is this a black top from Bobo brand. Um, it's kind of like a faux wrap opening. If you guys saw my last Stitch Fix video, I got a very, very similar top from Stitch Fix, which I ended up sending back. But this is the faux wrap nip top by Bobo in black for $49. So it's about five bucks cheaper than the one I got from Stitch Fix. Um, super comfortable. And I think I like it even more. Um, just a really nice detail here. It's kind of got like a cinched uh, wrist right there. Um, the other one had kind of like a, a sewn in type cami, whereas this one has just kind of like a little gathering right there. Um, other than that, it is a little bit open, but it's all gathered up right here. So it's not going to like, you know, flare open or anything like that. So I think it's just a really, really nice option. I'm leaning towards keeping this. I really like it. Um, I just think it's super versatile and just, it's kind of like a basic, but it's got a little bit of oomph to it. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of something special. You could wear this out with some jeans, some booties, you could wear it to work with a nice pair of like, you know, skinny khaki pants or something like that. So I just think it's going to be really, really versatile. Um, be really, really pretty with that scarf and like a camel coat. Okay guys, so that is everything in my trunk for this month. And I think overall, I'm gonna give Mila a definitely a thumbs up. I think she did an awesome job. We're definitely getting into the heart of fall. And so a lot of these pieces really reminded me of fall, which is one of my favorite seasons. I absolutely love it. So I'm leaning towards a couple items, but again, at the end of the video, you'll see what I kept and what I paid. And again, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.